video, we're going to look at how to safely draw up medications that come in glass ampules without cutting yourself and without getting glass in the syringe and giving it to your patient. This is one of the most common problems with these glass ampules. So of course, the first step, as with any medication administration, is to calculate the required volume of medication needed. So look at the vial and do your dosage calculation. In this case, let's say that we have calculated that we need two milliliters. So grab your three mil syringe, and this time, instead of a blunt tip needle like you would for a vial, you need to attach a filter needle. This is how we're gonna prevent getting glass into the syringe and then into the patient. Once you've attached your filter needle, you wanna hold the ampule in your non-dominant hand and make sure that you get all the bubbles out of the top of the ampule. You can flick it or you can tap it on the table gently. Now you wanna look at the top of the ampule and see if there's a little dot on it. If so, that is where you want to plan to put your thumb. So you're gonna wrap a piece of gauze around the top of the ampule, or you can even put the top of the ampule into an alcohol pad package. Put your dominant thumb over the dot and line up your non-dominant thumb with it on the base. And then using your thumbs, you wanna break the ampule open away from you. This is the part where I have seen people cut themselves, so be very careful here. Once you have snapped the top of the ampule, you want to carefully take the glass part that has come off and set it aside or directly into the sharps container if you have one available. Now you can grab your syringe with your filter needle, uncap it, and you're going to insert it into the ampule and withdraw the correct amount of liquid from the ampule. You may need to tilt the ampule to get the liquid. If your needle's not long enough to go to the bottom, you can invert it quickly and withdraw the fluid that way. Once you've got the amount that you need, you can safely recap your needle with the scoop technique. And then you'll want to remove the needle and dispose of it in the sharps container. As always, if you are not administering this drug right away, you must label the syringe with the drug, the dose, and the date, time, and initial. Make sure that you're following appropriate administration based on the ordered route, and of course, always follow your five rights. Now go out and be your best selves today, guys. And as always, happy nursing. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you wanna just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.